This patient had a gingival graft placed in the upper right canine area several years prior. The tissue was thicker compared to tooth number 11, and she was not happy with the bulky appearance. This is an easy procedure for the eyelids, similar to treating a patient with gingival hyperplasia. In a patient with excessive gum tissue covering the teeth, you would expose the teeth holding the tip perpendicular to the tissue, and then thin the thick tissue holding the tip parallel to the tissue. In cases like this that only require thinning the tissue, hold the 400 micron tip parallel to the tissue and decrease the gingivectomy preset by 0.3 watts from initial setting of 1 watt. As you do more of these procedures, you will learn what settings work best in your hands and how to evaluate each patient's tissue type and thickness and how both speed and position of the laser tip in relation to the tissue all have an effect on laser performance. Use a light painting stroke to thin out the tissue layer by layer. Blend in the reduction in tissue to the outer borders of the excision site. If some of the tissue sticks to the excision site, take a cotton swab with some topical anesthetic on it and burnish the site. The eye laser removes excess tissue in a very precise and controlled manner. Even if the patient has no post-op bleeding, follow up the removal of the excess tissue with the hemostasis preset for about one minute, as presented in the fibroma removal video. The intraoral pics taken one week post-op show the beautiful healing. The patient was very happy with the result and was amazed that we can do this so easily and painlessly.